Hello, YouTubers. Oop. Radio. All right. Uh. All right. Let's first start off with this. Uh, a few, I think, a few weeks ago or months ago, I did a uh, video on how the two-stroke expansion pipe works. Well, now I'm going to show you how the Boy Go Fast or any other reed valve kit works, or how reed valve work on a two-stroke engine. Now, here are my two crude. Uh, diagrams so bear with me I'm not much of a drawler alright so right here is our reed valve now what a reed valve does is simple what it with a two stroke when the piston comes back the intake port is open and what happens is when the piston comes down it as it's pushing fuel up in here into the combustion chamber, some of that fuel gets pushed out back into your carb. Now your carburetor will end up with an uneven mixture, making it not run as well as it can. Now, what a reed valve does is pretty much the same thing as what the expansion chamber does. Sorry about the racket here in the background, that's my heater. Now, let's start here on stroke one, where the piston is at top dead, or TDI, top, yeah, I think top ignition, or TDI, or no, TD, my mistake, meaning top dead. Now, with the piston up, if you know what a two-stroke does, when the piston's up, it draws fuel in. While it's drawing the fuel in, it's also compressing the fuel and igniting it. Now, what the reed valve does, it allows fuel and air to come rushing in, filling all of this, all of this area. Now, the, pist the spark plug has ignited the fuel up here. And the fuel is coming, now the burnt gas is coming out into the expansion chamber, leaving you onto stroke two. Stroke two is where the piston is coming down, but your reed valve shuts due to uh, pressure coming back up in. It closes, not allowing any more of the fuel and air come back up through into your car. But it's really compressed in here, so when the piston uncovers the intake port, your concentrated air, fuel, and oil, because two strokes need oil in their fuel, comes shooting into here at high velocity. Now, as your piston's coming back up, it's closing over your and take a port and you're back on stroke one where your reed valve is now sucking more fuel through but as your pistons coming back up it's also starting to push fuel into your exhaust that is where your expansion chamber kicks in remember that sound wave from the other video well, that sound wave that the two the uh, expansion chamber is doing that is has is now sending its way back up in, pushing the fuel, air, and oil a little bit of oil back into your cylinder to be burnt. And then that cycle continues again. So one two one two nonstop until you shut down your motor. Now, the drawback with the reed valves is after a certain amount of time they do wear out. Mine have already, I already put I think 2,000 miles on my set right now. 
and they have no signs of wearing out. Uh, you should check your reed valves pretty much every season, which meaning if you ride during the spring through fall, next spring, check your reed valves. And they're not expensive to replace. I mean, my set, maybe 25 bucks, I can get a whole new, whole new uh, housing, reeds, reed block. Uh, if you don't know what a reed block is, let me get another piece of paper. A reed block is where your reeds sit. So it's They're usually either in a triangle format. So this little black piece here for mine is your reed block. There's a gap in here to allow your fuel and air to go in. Then you have your reeds. So what you want to check is on your reeds. You take it apart. Take a look at your reed block. Check your housing too for any damage because you never know what could happen. But your reed block and reeds are all in one piece. Take that out and you look at your reeds. If there's any feathering on the end or does it, if it just straight out looks worn out, uh, get them replaced. And you just put it all back together, bolt it onto your motor and crank it up. But reed valves are one of the pretty much best things you can do for like a two stroke for like the gas bikes um, dirt bikes I think have them ATVs any two stroke not like your weed eater and hand mowers which I think some hand mowers don't have them I would have to get my book out and look but most your weed eaters do not have reed valves because they're so small and the fuel that comes back up is such like a low amount in the way the piston is designed that it acts like the reed valve. But Grant, there is still a little bit of gas coming up through. So that's how your two stroke reed valve kit works. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and look forward for, to further videos. Adios.